Hello, I'm Dr. Christopher Toma, and today I want to talk to you about artificial sweeteners. Many of my patients are using artificial sweeteners more than ever before and think that they're really helping their health. I believe that sometime in the near future we will see a dramatic increase in type 2 diabetes due to artificial and natural sweeteners. What this is from is when you put something sweet on your tongue, your brain gets the message that, hey, sugar has been put into the system and pretty soon it will be down in the digestive tract and in the pancreas will need to produce insulin to take care of that sugar. So as soon as the sweetness hits the tongue, the pancreas begins to produce insulin, storing all the sugar you have in your body. This artificial sweetener gets down to the stomach area and all of a sudden it's realized by your brain that there's not enough sugar in the system, that basically the system was faked out. Now you have more insulin on board than what you should have. Your body now has two choices. It can either ignore the signal or it can put cravings in place to have you go crave carbs and sugar. Now you may crave those carbs and sugar and this system is now mute, no problem. Or you can say, hey, I'm real strong, I know that I'm not hungry, I don't need that sugar, and basically you negate that. What happens is you do this time and time again, keep using artificial sweeteners, the signal between the pancreas, the tongue, and the brain gets confused. And it says, hey, anytime something sweet hits the tongue, we no longer need to produce insulin. After a while, when you go to get something sweet, and you actually put it on your tongue, let's say some sugar, it gets down now in the digestive tract, the blood sugar rises, but yet the pancreas does not respond to it. This is type 2 diabetes. This is why using artificial sweeteners alone may not be the right, health, right thing for you. Avoiding sugars, keeping sugars to the minimum is the right thing, but that doesn't mean putting other sweeteners in its place. Your taste buds will actually change over a matter of 21 to 28 days to get used to the amount of sugar that you have. So if you reduce the amount of sugar in your diet, things that were sweet before, like carrots and blueberries and things, will all of a sudden become very sweet to you. Even bell peppers, I've heard people say after they've been on a reduced sugar diet, boy, bell peppers are the sweetest thing they've ever had. So just know, avoiding sugar is the best way to avoid type 2 diabetes. Avoiding the, the artificial sweeteners and that may even benefit you more than avoiding the table sugar. Have a great day.